up y'all bring you guys another video Wilfredo Mendez versus Masataka Taniguchi who do y'all think is gonna win this fight before I get more into the video I just want to say thank you thank you so much for watching please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button it helps out the video it helps out the channel I'd really appreciate it so um yeah scheduled for 12 rounds in the strawweight division with Mendez defending his WBO strawweight title both fighters Recently had the weigh-ins, both fighters made weight, weighing in at the limit at 105, 105 pounds. Uh, fight will be taking place in the undercard of the Naoya Inoue versus Aaron Depayan fight. Uh, unfortunately, there will be no US broadcast, at least at the time I'm making this video. I'm hoping that ESPN or, or somebody will show us this fight last minute. But uh, but yeah, pretty good card. Uh, this is the co-feature, the co-main event. And before I talk about who I think will win between Mendez and Taniguchi, to those who don't know, Wilfredo Mendez is a fighter from Puerto Rico with a record of 16 wins, 1 loss, 6 wins coming by way of knockout or TKO. He is coming up a win against Gabriel Mendoza back in February of 2020. He has not fought since then. It's been more than a year. It's been almost 2 years since he last fought. He became a world champion in August 2019 when he defeated Vic Saludar. And... Uh, and yeah, that was a, a pretty good win, if you ask me. And uh, one time he only lost was against Lee Man Benavides back in 2018. And since then, he's won every single fight. And now here he is fighting in Japan against Masataka Taniguchi, a 27-year-old fighter from Japan with a record of 14 wins, 3 losses, 9 wins, coming by way of Nakar TKO. He is the Japanese minimum weight champion, or strawweight champion. Um... And now here he is stepping up to fight for a world title. Is he ready to win a world title fight? He's been in there against the likes of Vic Salutar. Lost that fight by unanimous decision. He also lost to uh, Tashubaza Tasubuza, Kaura. And he also lost to Reya Kinishi. Uh, and those were more on the uh, Pacific and Japanese level. And uh, obviously the Vic Saladar fight, you know, Vic Saladar is a former world champion himself and he had a shot at that world title and he lost. And, uh, you know, watching Taniguchi, he's quick with his hands, um, but uh, I don't think it's enough to beat somebody as experienced and somebody who's been, you know, more proven than Wilfredo Mendez. It's kind of hard to go against Wilfredo Mendez right now after, you know, his wins. Uh, especially that win against Saludar, I, you know, I, I, I can't go against him after that win. Uh, but I'll say this though, Mendez hasn't fought in almost two years. Ring rust will definitely come into play in this fight, and that will be that will give Taniguchi an advantage. Um, is it a big advantage? Maybe early on. So, but I don't think Tan I mean Taniguchi has nine out of his. 14 wins are by way of Nakar TKO, but I don't know. He's he seems like more he's just quick on his hands than than with uh you know him having power. I don't think he does, but but we'll see. We'll see. I'm still picking Mendes to win. Uh, like I said, I think I think he's just more proven at 105 pounds, and you know he's done more at the, at this division, has achieved more in the sport of boxing compared to Taniguchi. But it should be an interesting fight. Again, no U.S. broadcast, at least at the time I'm making this video. And uh, I look forward to uh, a great day of boxing. Fight will go the distance, and I see Mendes winning 8 rounds to 4, 9 rounds to 3. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.